Hi, everyone. Welcome to another Clean Machine Live. My name is Jeff Palmer. I'm the CEO and founder of Clean Machine. This video is for information and educational purposes only and is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. So this uh, one is funnily titled, humorously titled, I guess I should say, Hey, Beba. <laughs> so what is Beba? What is Beba? Beba is a molecule called beta amino isobutyric acid. Boy, that's a mouthful. <laughs> it is a truly cool chemical, and it's really only been studied more recently and found out that uh, it has some pretty incredible health benefits kind of across the board, which is really unique in, in the nutritional um, aspects of things. So before we dive in, I um, want to share the first study. Uh, this study is called Beta uh, Amino Isobutyric Acid Induces Browning of White Fat and Hepatic Beta Oxidation and is inversely correlated with cardiometabolic risk factors. Okay, that's a lot in there. <laughs> so I'll, I'll, I'll distill it down for you. So beta amino butyric acid is this beta that we're going to be talking about in this uh, video. It induces browning of white fat. So what is that? So our body has uh, two different major forms of fat, actually a third one. There's beige in the middle, but uh, brown fat and white fat. So white fat, sometimes called watt or white adipose tissue, and brown fat is called bat or brown adipose tissue. So this is pretty interesting that this chemical, this, this molecular structure actually gets our body to turn white fat. White fat is the stubborn fat. Think of it as basically storage containers for energy, right? White fat doesn't have much of the mitochondria inside of it to convert that fat into usable energy in the form of ATP. So what you want to do is move that white fat and turn it into more brown fat. Brown fat burns off really fast, and that's the fat that you can actually get rid of. So if you can move stubborn white fat over to brown fat, you can burn it off and utilize it through thermogenesis more quickly. Now, how quickly? All right, let's pull up the first study, and I'm going to explain that to you. Let me put it in the comments section. Okay, I'll put it in the chat box. That way you can see the study and also the link to the study. And I'm going to go ahead and pull it up on the screen for, uh, for some of you. So as you can see, there's the study, but look at the bottom of the study. It says beta treatment enhanced UCP1 by 5.3 fold. That's 530% increase in UCP1. Okay, so what's UCP1? UCP1 is uncoupling protein one. There's two different types, uh, uncoupling protein two, actually, and three. So uncoupling protein one is one of the more common ways that our body turns fat through thermogenesis or beta oxidation into usable energy or heat. Um, so when does that process happen? Well, that process happens when we exercise, especially intense exercise. When you use intense exercise, your body will use um, brown fat or beige fat and use the uncoupling proteins to create thermogenesis and release that in the form of heat and or energy so that your body can use it and get rid of that fat and turn it into usable energy for your muscles. So this sounds really cool. Now, what else does BEVA do? Well, I'm gonna just go down this list of incredible things that BEVA is involved in, and it's gonna kind of blow your mind. So BEVA's benefits are, one, it increases fat burning or beta oxidation, that is the burning up. Oxidizing is to fat, fat burning right? Oxidizing wood is called fire. That's fire burning, <laughs> but that's oxidation. We use oxygen to um, transform um, the, the fat into usable energy. So one, increases fat burning. Two, decreases fat 
or increases fat burning in the liver. Now, this is really important because trunk fat or body fat, fat that surrounds especially the liver is where we get fatty liver syndrome. It's the, it's, a, it's the beginning of a cascade of a whole lot of nasty effects in the body. So you want to defatty the liver for your overall health. Number three, it prevents diet-induced obesity. Now, this is kind of unique in its aspect. So not only is it increasing fat burning, it's actually preventing the calories you eat from being stored. So it prevents diet-induced obesity. Now, that's pretty cool because that's the one-two effect that you really want to happen. You don't want, you want to burn up the calories that you have in the form of fats for thermogenesis for energy, but you don't want that restored or that rebound effect. So that's pretty cool. Then it regulates fat and carb metabolism. So how quickly or how fastly uh, or slowly rather that the body uses up uh, fats and carbs in metabolism. It increases the conversion of white fat. That's the stubborn storage fat into brown fat. That's the active fat with lots of a, uh, a mitochondria in that. And the mitochondria actually do all the conversion of that energy into um, ATP so the body can use it for energy as well as the uncoupling proteins, which create the heat that you give off when you exercise. So number six, it maintains muscle and bone in periods of unuse. Now this is really important uh, because what it's doing, when you work out, you increase beta. And then the more you increase beta, the more it actually protects uh, bone and muscle from being lost because what it's doing is sending a signal to your body hey go out there produce this beta because you're exercising so in case you exercise once again your bone density will be there and your muscle will be preserved so you're not losing it in the process now this is really cool because they showed those with higher beta actually preserve their muscle well into age they're looking at it now as a pathway to help reduce or even prevent sarcopenia, which is age-related muscle loss. And that's one of the things that I think about when, you know, I say, well, I'm, I'm turning 59 in a couple of weeks, and I'm still at the same 185 to 195 pounds of solid muscle. And I'm almost six, 59, and I'm going into my 60th year. So this is pretty incredible, and that's because this high beta content from intensive workouts. So this is really cool, but let's keep going on these risks. Number seven, it increases muscle glucose uptake. So how does it do that? By improving, number eight, improving insulin sensitivity. So beta increases insulin sensitivity or the, or the body's ability to use insulin to pull nutrients into the muscle cells, glucose uptake, so that the body, the muscles can actually use that. And of course, that makes total sense when you're exercising. When you're up, when you're exercising, your, your muscles need more energy. And therefore, this beta comes over and actually accelerates the body's uptake of it. Okay, that's really cool. Because it improves insulin sensitivity, it is shown to reduce the risk of type 2 diabetes, which is insulin desensitivity, right? That's when the insulin receptors shut down or are non-responsive. That is basically type 2 diabetes. And then number 10, it protects against bone loss. Beta actually comes over and protects osteocytes, the cells that make up bone, from being lost, from being destroyed and broken down. So bone preservation, and why is this? Obviously, if you are stressing the muscles and bearing weight, the body is gonna say, hey, wait a minute, I need to keep and maintain that muscle, that bone density, so that it can handle the stress of the weight. So this totally makes sense on every level, but this beta is doing all of this. Number 11, it's anti-aging. So it protects and uh, lowers uh, reactive oxygen species. When you work out, you produce waste, reactive oxygen species, or ROS. ROS can be catabolic, means it can tear down muscle tissue, and it can also damage other tissues in the body. So the body has a natural way of preventing this from happening by quenching ROS with BABA. 
So Beba again comes to the rescue, knocks out this ROS so it doesn't damage mitochondria because the mitochondria are needed to produce ATP for your muscles. Beautiful, right? All right. And that also produces an anti-aging effect. And this is why people who exercise can have a long, longer lifespan, but also may even look healthier skin, better glow, better internal organs, because there's this anti-aging effect where their muscles are actually producing beta that protect them against the damage of the radical oxygen species that are produced by exercise. So it obviously then beta then goes in and helps the mitochondria and the mitochondria accelerates its production of ATP. This gives you more energy that's really what most people are looking for, is increased amounts of energy. All right, so this keeps going. <laughs> Not only does it give you more muscle, uh, protect the muscle, give you better bone density, uh, improve fat burning, increase insulin sensitivity. I mean, this thing is just freaking awesome. And it's all stimulated and upregulated every time you work out with intensity. But guess this, it goes even farther. Number 13, it lowers triglycerides. Triglycerides are a precursor condition. When you have high triglycerides, it can lead to advanced health conditions. It lowers LDL cholesterol, and even more importantly, dramatically lowers VLDL, or very low density um, cholesterol. This is the worst kind of cholesterol and the really damaging stuff. And this actually is shown to protect against that. So triglycerides, um, LDL cholesterol, VLDL cholesterol, the ROS, it's protecting the body all over the place. And, and these are some of the biggest things, diabetes, atherosclerosis or cardiovascular disease. With the lowering of the LDL and VLDL and triglycerides, you're having less damage to the arteries and the blood vessels. Really cool stuff. So you're talking about cardiovascular disease, coronary heart disease, uh, diabetes, all protected because of this beta, this beta aminum isobutyric acid that is produced and upregulated every time you work out with intensity. That's why it's so important for your health. It's not just a to have big guns and, and <laughs> that's no, it's really about your health. And these mechanisms are controlled and upregulated and activated from your exercise. That is why it's so important to be consistent with your exercise. But what's really cool about Beva is that it shows just a few bouts of uh, intense exercise, really intense exercise has a long lasting effect because the Beva actually protects both bone and muscle and keeps your insulin sensitivity up because it's it's preparing for you to exercise more. It's preparing, it's preparing the body to make sure it can handle the stress, make sure it can work out and handle the strength, make sure the bones are healthy enough to take that stress and make sure your body is processing ATP, getting rid of the oxidative uh, factors and, and, and protecting all the cells. This is a beautiful thing. So if that weren't good enough, um, it just goes on. And I'm going to read this verbatim directly from the study because <laughs> this is an actual direct quote from this next study, which I'm going to put up on here. And the next study is, is and I'll read it out loud for those of you who don't see it on the screen. Uh, beta amino isobutyric acid, or L-beta, is muscle-derived osteocyte survival factor. So this is actually muscle derived. So every time you work out your muscles, you are producing this beta, which then goes and helps your bones survive. <laughs> yeah, pretty important stuff. And that's why we see a, a, a nice health improvements for bone, especially in cases of osteoporosis or, or osteopenia, where you're starting to get bone loss. This can be protective against this. This beta actually protects those osteocytes. Those are uh, bone cells and, and helps prevent that. So this is a beautiful thing. And this is the mechanisms we are now starting to understand of what's, what goes into this. Okay. So I'm going to read this directly out to you. I'll go ahead and put the uh, study up on the screen, put it in the chat section, uh, pull it up on the screen. 
And there you go. There's the, the next study I'll be talking about. And this is directly, re I'm going to read it directly from the study. So beta is a small molecule produced by skeletal muscle during intense exercise. Beta, now I won't bore you with that part. It's just talking about the science stuff, of how it's created. But um, beta is produced, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to hold on that one for a second because I want to surprise you with where it comes from. Uh, but BABA is shown to be a mediator of beneficial effects from exercise from skeletal muscle to other tissue organs, helping the liver out, helping the bone out, helping other parts of the body function and preserve and be healthier and better, lowering triglycerides, lowering VLDL, uh, helping the cardiovascular system, protecting against ROS, reactive oxygen species, which actually cause the aging process. So anti-aging, <laughs> better cardiovascular health, better insulin, better, I mean, just better everything. That's why these, uh, that's why exercise is so important. But the exercise up regulates the production of BABA, but where does BABA come from? All right, I'm gonna just pull up a picture of where BABA comes from, because I think it's gonna surprise you. Our body makes BABA, and I'm going to put it up here on the screen, and at the top right-hand part of the screen, and for those of you watching on Amazon Live and you're not seeing the picture, it comes from the branch chain amino acid valine. That's right. BABA is produced directly from valine, one of the three branch chains. So there are three branch chains, leucine, isoleucine and valine. Valine produces beta, which then when you exercise, turns that valine, that branch chain amino acid into beta, and then beta does all these different health benefits, preserving bone, preserving muscle, increasing muscle, increasing fat burning, changing stubborn white fat into fast burning brown fat. I mean, the health benefits are just across the board. Um, preventing, uh, preventing against uh, diet-induced obesity, that is you taking in too many calories and the body actually storing and increasing, increasing fat levels in the body. So it prevents against that from happening. These are all the benefits of, of exercise, stimulating the production of beta, but you still have to feed it its branch chain amino acids in the form of valine. So uh, all branch chain amino acids, including ours, the BCAAs that we sell, have this two to one to one, two uh, parts uh, leucine and one part valine, one part isoleucine. And by increasing the amount of available BCAAs, including valine, you are giving your body what it needs to convert valine directly into beta that can promote all of these different health benefits that I just talked to you about. Increase fat burning, de decrease fat in the liver, prevent in, uh, diet induced obesity, regulates fat and carb metabolism, increasing the conversion of white fat to brown fat, maintaining muscle and bone, even when you're not using it, even when you're not stressing it. That's pretty impressive increasing muscle glucose uptake so that your body is actually using those calories and absorbing them and allowing your muscles to use that glucose, improving insulin sensitivity, reducing your risk of diabetes, type two diabetes, protecting against bone loss, anti-aging by lowering and, and neutralizing the ROS and mitochondria, increasing ATP production, giving you more energy, lowering triglycerides, lowering VLDL cholesterol, and protecting against atherosclerosis or cardiovascular disease. What a beautiful thing. And basically, all we need to do is exercise with intensity and give our body what it needs to produce beta for all of these amazing different health benefits benefits. And I think that's possibly why I am seeing such amazing health benefits and retention of muscle, even at going into my 60th year of life. Um, that's just pretty amazing. So it's, it's so simple is to make sure that you're consuming enough of these branched chain amino acids. Now, um, 
typical plant proteins are a little bit lower than animal proteins in branched chain amino acids. So by simply adding some branched chain amino acids, which have zero calories, so you're not having to increase a whole bunch of intake more of plant proteins in, in the form of whole foods, you don't have to add all those extra calories just to get that upregulation of branched chain amino acids. Plus those branched chain amino acids, once you take them in uh, a supplement form, get directly into your body, immediately absorbed if you're taking them before your workout, and then your body can use it to produce beta and produce all those different amazing health benefits for you immediately. Quench that free radical production that your body does. Help reduce inflammation. That's another thing it does. Um, it it uh, improves insulin resistance, but also reduces the inflammation in skeletal muscle so you can heal and repair and recover faster, gain your strength back better, and then get back into the gym and press even more weights because your body is prepared. It has used that beta to protect that muscle and bone so that it can build on build instead of build and tear down, build and tear down, build and tear down. You don't want to do that. You want to build and protect, then build and protect, then build and protect. Now you're building on what you gained already. And that's why I can you know, have 17 inch guns even though I'm 59 years old and should be technically by all scientific accounts, losing muscle by about 3% every three to 5% every single year. So that's not happening. And the reason being, because I've been using branch chains for over 10 years now, every single time I work out and it's really helped me preserve and build and maintain that level of muscle, but not just muscle. Remember all these other health effects, anti-aging health effects, anti-diabetic health effects, lowering triglycerides and LDL cholesterol, preventing against arteriosclerosis or damage to the, uh, to the arteries. These are all really important, preserving bone health. I mean, these, these are important things that everybody should be benefiting from. And all it takes is two basic things, exercise to stimulate the production of beta and give your body what it needs to produce beta, which is valine, one of the three branch chains. So the branch chain amino acids are almost always found in nature in a group because there's three of them and they are found in most foods at a basic two to one, one ratio, approximately. They vary from food to food, but that's why we put it in uh, ours from, from fermentation, a vegan source fermented. So that it's just like you would find in your body. When you eat a plant protein, it ferments. This is a big fermentation tank uh, in your gut. And, and that's what you do when you consume those plant, the, the fermentation breaks it down into those amino acids and those branch chains can then go into your bloodstream where they can be used. And in this case, one of the branch chains failing can be turned into beta, supporting all those amazing health benefits. Or you can simply have that uh, branch chains already broken down by fermentation process from plants in our clean BCAAs in the two to one, one ratio that you would normally find in food. But you can do it without adding all the rest of the calories that you would take in um, when you're consuming that extra uh, plant proteins or even animal proteins for that sake, it's extra calories. Whereas BCAs practically have no caloric uh, content to them at all, slight caloric content, but not really. Um, they're actually quickly and easily burned up for energy if the body needs them for that. So it's an amazing thing, real simple. Take your branch chains before you work out, get the body, do a stressful intensive workout and get the body to produce lots of beta that have all these amazing different health benefits. That's how it works. That's how it protects the system. And it is dietary and exercise. It's always been that. And I love when the science really shows us what we should be doing right. And fortunately, what I've been doing right for the last 10 years, uh, just based on the research, I didn't know about all these health benefits. So I really started digging in. And I was really looking for anti-aging, you know, uh, about to go into my 60th year of life. I really want to be here for my wife and, and the people that care and love me and i feel like i have a lot to give and a lot to to share with people so i want to be around i'm entering the prime of my life i'm having fun our business is doing really well 
it's exciting because I feel like every day I get a chance to give back. I give back information. I give back new science. And I'm hoping this information is useful to you. If you like it, please share. Let's get this information out there so more people are empowered and making empowered choices that help them live the healthiest and best fitness uh, in their life so that you can enjoy life to the fullest. I mean, who knows? We don't know if maybe this is your one and only life here. You know, maybe it's not, but let's make it a good one, right? <laughs> you know, let's make 2022 a great year. And you can do that by simply consuming the branch chain amino acids prior to workout, get your body all that it needs to build that BABA and then stimulate BABA production for optimal health and longevity. I hope you enjoyed this. And if you like it, please share so we can get this information out to more people. I want to see people living a healthy life, regardless of what you choose, whether you choose to use supplements or not, is, is fine. I hope this information is useful to you regardless, because that's my purpose here <laughs> in this lifetime, is to try to help as many people as I possibly can enjoy the best life that they can. And if this information is useful to you, then I've succeeded. Thanks for joining me. We'll have lots more information, some great new studies uh, coming out too. I'm going to keep sharing and forwarding this information to you. So tune in each week, or you can always go back and watch them later uh, um, on our YouTube channel. Thank you for joining me and uh, have a healthy, happy 2022.